Hello everyone. This is Tuesday, April 26, 2022. And it is going to be a nice day today before the day's over. It's 8 degrees right now, but it's still early. It's 11 a.m. I expect we'll be up to 11 or 12 before the day's over. And I am on Albert Marley Street at the moment, which is heading towards the north end. We're not there yet. We're, we're still in downtown. Kind of just behind the behind Scotia Square. Scotia Square buildings are right over there. So we're heading north, but still downtown. Yesterday was absolutely one of the best days we've had. It reached 17 degrees yesterday. Fantastic for Halifax. I hope we got a lot more days coming just like that. There might be a bit of noise right here. There's some crew doing something, so I'm not gonna talk till I get past there. quieter over here. There's construction going on over here too, so we might get into a bit of noise, but for the most part, it's not bad. That building's sure gonna change the look of this area. Right here, I can tell you that. Okay, I'm gonna cross right here, I think. Go down the sunny side. We better hold up now, it's about to change. Can't go on that side, because of construction. So we'll just hang right here until we get our green light. That's a common sight in the north end these days. There's a whole lot of construction going on up here. All right, we got a walk sign. Let's go.
I'm on the corner of Cogswell and Brunswick, and this is about to undergo a big change. It's like a three or four year project before it's done, but it's going to be so beautiful when it's done. We just have to wait and see what it looks like. If I can't describe it completely, I'm not educated enough on it. I, I've read some stuff on it, but I'm not really sure about the whole thing. So I'm on Brunswick Street at the moment. So this is Tuesday, you know what Halifax is and what, what, what Tuesday means in Halifax? It means seniors get to ride on the bus free. So I'm gonna walk up and when I go back down, I'll probably catch the bus there. Unless I decide to do another video walking down, then in that case, it will be, I won't take the bus right away. But I can catch, if I go home early enough, I can catch a ride back across, at least on the ferry before. I think I have to be no later than 2.30, maybe, if I'm going to take advantage of that. So, okay, I'm going to let her go. Because she's only got, she's only got so long to get out, that gate's going to close. So she can't sit there. So I would be very rude if I just walked right across and held her up. Then the gate come down and couldn't get out again. So yeah, when you put your money in, you gotta get out of there. Canary Court, this little place right here is called. Kind of a beautiful, beautiful little spot right here. I love this street. I love, I love, I've been on Brunswick before, but I really love it here because it's flat, you get a break from all the hills and everything in Halifax, it's flat here. And the architecture's nice. And the wrought iron fences along here and things. I, I love it, it's beautiful here. And so, I'm taking a walk here today. I don't think I'll walk the whole length of it. Because I've done that before. But we'll, we'll, we'll shake it up a little bit this morning for you. So it won't be too boring. I've been doing a lot of stuff downtown and over in Dartmouth lately, so it's time to get away from downtown and forget about Dartmouth and uh, find something to do over here. Looks like a really old building, doesn't it? Man, I don't know what the date is on that, but if I can find out, I gotta let you know because that, that's gotta be one of the early buildings back, probably dating back to 1749 lately. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna check on that and see. Might not even be, I don't even think it's the church now. It was at one time, but. I don't know what it is. It might be still a church, but I don't think so. There's no, I'm looking for a cornerstone to tell me the date that was built, but that's not a church anymore, I don't believe. If it is, it's in bad need of some repairs. Looks like they're gonna paint it or strip down for painting, but I don't see any anything on it. But it might be, it might be a church. 
I don't see any date on it, like a cornerstone or anything. But anyway, I wanted to give you the date, but I can't do that at the moment because I do have a Google Pixel phone and Google can tell me if I take a picture of it, it can, Google can tell me what, what that is and when it was built. But I'm using my phone for my video, so I can't really, can't really do that. So, we only have one phone now, I'm down to this phone. So, I used to be able to do that when I was using the other phone. I could look up something on one phone and keep the video going on the other phone. But I can't do that now because I only have one phone. The other one bit the dust. So I'm heading in a northern direction on Brunswick Street. We'll see where we're gonna go from here. Stop right here, let the vehicles do their thing while I check my options. I think I might go down, down the bottom of the hill for a ways. I'm at Cornwallis Street. This is the one that's, they're looking to rename it. But it's still got the sign up yet, Cornwallis Street. There's a church that's been around a long time. And that is the parish of St. George, St. George's Round Church. Hmm. How do you suppose they got that name? <laughs> the Round Church, because the church is round. Okay, the Round Church. The Reverend Nicholas Hat, Rector, Darius McPhee, Director of Music. It is the uh, Anglican, an Anglican Book of Common Prayer. Okay, Parish of St. Church, the Anglican Church. How about that? The round church. <laughs> I guess once you get in through the lobby, the church is round. Beautiful front doors. Two, 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 Brunswick. That's easy to remember. Two, 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 two. So anybody asks me where the Anglican Church is, I'm going to say two, 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 Brunswick. And the church is round. And you got the Catholic Church right across the street. From that, and it's an old structure as well. An old brick structure with a bell tower. And I would say it goes up there, three, four, five, yeah, about six floors, not counting the, the spire on top. Somewhere down here, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down to the, to, to Barrington maybe. I don't know, we'll see. I'm so indecisive. I go on instinct rather than a plan. Sometimes I have a plan and then I don't stick to it. I just do whatever comes in my head. And sometimes I follow through with my plan. Sometimes I have a plan and I, and I stick right to it, right to the letter. I make the video just as I planned, but I don't always, especially on these nice, warm, sunny spring days. I like to leave it open. Can't wait till we get some leaves on these trees though. They're starting to, the, the older ones not so much because it takes a while to get them going. Just like people when they get old, it takes a while to get them moving there. So 
the young bushes are getting leaves. This one here has got some something on it. Don't think it has leaves. There are leaves on, on the bushes, the younger trees. You'll see up here some leaves there out. It hasn't been super warm, but look, there's a job. Somebody needs to pick all that garbage up right there. Hopefully the city's got some crews to work on that. I do it in my own neighborhood. I'm not gonna do it down here. If this is someone else's territory. But I do pick up garbage around my neighborhood. Not only in front of where I live, but other houses. I used to do the whole street, but haven't this year. Maybe one day if I see too much garbage, I will. But I haven't done the whole street this year. It does make it so much nicer when people can drive up down the street and there's no litter on the street. So what do you want to do? You want to go down to Barrington? I've walked around the north end a lot. I don't want to really cover those streets again because I've done them so much and I don't want to bore you right to death. The reason I'm going this way, I have to meet up with my wife around 11.30. And it's, it's not even 10.30 yet. So we got a bit of time. It's around 10.30. We got a bit of time. But I'm just making my way in this direction so I can meet up with her. There's a lot of ways to get there. I don't have to go one certain route. So I'm going to cross the street. I'll wait till I get to the crosswalk. I got to set an example. Maybe I got children watching this video. If I jaywalk all the time, that's setting a bad example. So I'll go to the crosswalk and I'll walk across right there. At Diva's, Diva's Line is where I'm crossing. Diva's Line. And we will go down to Barrington Street. All right? That sound like a good idea? No crosswalk here, so I can just walk across. We'll go down to Barrington Street. Now, this got a different name. This is Jerry. Jerry Street, Jerry from Brunswick. Okay, so we will continue on down to Barrington Street. I think they call those apartments right there Harbor View, I think. No, I'm not 100% sure. But I believe they're called Harbor Fuel Apartments. I have one friend that lives in there. And I met, I met him down at Tim Hortons in the South End way back a year ago. And I've run into him several times. And I consider him a friend. He, he lives in here. I don't know him, you know, super well, but enough to have conversations and things like that. So. That's a friend, if you can sit and have coffee with them and have conversations. To me, that's, that's a friend. You don't have to know them like a book. You still be a friend. Um, yeah, lives in one of these buildings. And I'm pretty sure they're called Harborview Apartments. There's two of them there. A lot of people live right here. Anyway, we're going down to Barrington. This doesn't go to the sidewalk anyway. Oh, here it is. Right here. Okay. My eyes will be getting better soon. I promise you. Going in Friday for my right eye. Remember how I was always talking about I didn't know if I was going to be able to see much longer because I needed to get my cataract surgery. But my left eye is still not too bad. But my right one is not good. So... I have got my appointment date now. I'm going in this Friday to get my right eye done. Oh, I can hardly wait.
So I'm going to get my right eye done on Friday. And they'll probably set a date for me. If they don't, I'm going to ask, hey, can you set a date for my right eye, my left eye? And I can come in on that date and get it done. And hopefully it won't be any more than the end of summer. And then we'll see if I need glasses or not after that. Cross that when I get to it. I used to wear glasses before, but that could have been the start of my cataracts too. I don't know. But we'll see after I get this done. I get my second one done. We'll find out if I need glasses. Some people do. Some people don't. That's all I can say. Some do and some don't. Well, what a beautiful day to walk by here. We'll walk right under the bridge and... I don't know. We'll make our way up there somehow. I actually haven't been to the corner of Young and Obi for a while now. It wouldn't hurt to take a look at those construction sites up there and see how they're coming along. Because I haven't been there for a long time. I've been downtown and doing Dartmouth videos. I did Leighton Dillman Park yesterday in Dartmouth. I bet there's a lot of people who live in Halifax never heard of Leighton Dillman Park. But that's where I was yesterday. Beautiful houses right there, different colors. I love those things in Halifax. How they all painted different colors on the street. I grew up in a little village that was very boring. Everybody painted their house white. There was a rare exception. But almost everyone painted their house white. Then the trim around the windows was either black or green. No, no variation in colors like we are here. I love it, the way Halifax has all these houses, all different colors. And I love walking on Barrington Street too, because it's a great street. It's long. It goes all the way downtown. But I didn't come straight up. I took a detour. I was into Old Scotia Square for probably an hour and a half, having a coffee, had my headphones on, listening to music and having a coffee. So that's where I was last month for the last hour and a half before I started this video. It is a gorgeous day. I can't help saying it. Can't say it enough. There's not hardly any clouds. Look at, look at the sky. There's hardly a cloud anyway. Beautiful sunny day. And it's not cold. That's not balmy. Like, yes, I got a light jacket on, but it's not cold. Just a great day for walking. Yesterday I walked 12, 12 point something kilometers. Not bad for a guy 71, almost. I'll be 71 in July 26.
and you know I got home and I didn't even feel it really. I, I did some housework and cooked supper and because my wife's working and so I gotta I try to keep cook some meals there when I'm not doing anything. And well I'm up to North Street, but we're not gonna take that either. We're gonna go straight across. Straight across. No taking North Street today, straight across. And that's the road down to the harbor. Good, I can walk across here now. We got the street blocked. Perfect. I hope wherever you are, when you're seeing this video, enjoying the sunshine, I hope you're having a nice sunny day as well. Or maybe it's the end of your day and you're home now and you're watching the video. Who knows, right? We all got different times when we can watch videos. I watch videos. I don't watch them when my wife's home. Because I got all kinds of time when she's not home to watch videos. So when we're home together, we watch TV or sometimes we go out for coffee, stuff like that, maybe a walk. But I value my time with her. And I don't, I don't go off somewhere and watch videos when when we're home together. Nice picture of the McDonald Bridge here. I'm just looking across at it. There's lots of angles to see this bridge. They all look different. Well, no matter how you, a great, great place for still pictures because you can get all different angles and your picture will be different than someone else's picture. Well, it's great. I love photographing bridges and things like that, architecture, because your angle will be different than my angle and, and we're all different. We see something a little different and so it's great. It's great to have your own take on it. Sometimes it's good to have things in the background when you're taking a picture. Like, Right here, I've got that building over there in the background and things like that. Well, anyway, enough about my photography. My wife's a photographer. And she'll tell you, if you ask her, she'll say yes, she takes better pictures than I do. She takes better pictures because she is a photographer. I'm a, I'm a self-made one. I just... Uh, taught myself to look at things and try and get the best the best scenery out of it, the best angles. But she is a photographer. She used to work in a photography store. And she had a few gigs and was up in Ontario doing uh, different things. Some of it was video, some of it was still pictures. A lot of stuff we used to do in Ontario, we haven't had the opportunity to do here yet. Like I got a friend up there who has a garage on the end of her house. And we used to go there on Saturday night in her garage and jam. And there would be like sometimes 10 musicians in there. And we was right across the parking lot from the Legion. Her house is next door to the Legion. And sometimes they'd come out of the Legion when it was all done there, but the band was still playing in her garage. And they'd come over, they say, you guys play are better than the guys you had in the Legion. So <laughs> we had a lot of good players up there. There's some, all the friends of mine that I hung out with there that played musically 
They're all great, great musicians. With lots of history behind them playing in different bands. So we got to do that every Saturday night. And then once in a while we got a, a paying gig where we didn't play on Saturday night. The graduate went out somewhere and made some money. And, but for the most, a lot of good, good portion of the time we were jamming in the grads. And so it was really easy if we got a chance to play somewhere. We just played the songs we played the grads. We all practiced up. Oh, look what's coming here. One of the tour buses, the double-decker tour buses are going again because the, the cruise ships, the cruise ships are in today. I was thinking about going down there busking, but I can't do everything. And I'm, I'm going in the hospital on Friday. That means I'm not gonna be able to make videos for a few days because I'm gonna have a patch on my eye. And I gotta kind of uh, baby that so I don't get infection in it. You have to put drops in it so many times a day. And the first day I have to go back Saturday again to get my bandage changed and stuff. And so, you know, I, I don't want to be out trying to make videos when. when, when I'm trying to take care of my eye. So I thought it better. I was out yesterday and made one for today. Now this one is for, this is, uh, no, sorry. The one I made, the one I made yesterday is still on my phone. So that's, two will be on my phone. So one will be for Wednesday and this one will be for Friday. So that takes care of this week. Now I still have, this is only Tuesday. So I got two more days. If I could get two more videos out, on my phone at least, I might carry me through until I can walk around again. Because I don't want to miss any days if I can help it. So if I miss one, just remember what I said, I'm going in on Friday for my cataract surgery. I won't be going anywhere on Friday except to the hospital. When I get home, I'm just gonna sit down, take it easy. And I can still watch TV because I got one, one eye to see it with. But that's gonna be weird with one eye. See, even though my right eye doesn't see much, I see better with two eyes open than I do if I close that eye and just see out of my good eye. It's, I get a wider picture. So, even though it doesn't see much, it, it, it is a help, I guess. But anyway, that's life. You know, computer screens cause cataracts too. And if you spend a lot of time in front of a screen, chances are you're gonna get cataracts. I don't know what caused mine. I think it was, if you're out in the sun a long time, I spent a long time outdoors and that might have been what led to my cataracts. I don't know. Maybe it's just you're getting old and you get cataracts. It might be hereditary. My mother and father both had them. My wife's mother had them. My sister had them. So it could be just hereditary. I don't know. But I know loads of people that had cataract surgery. And they see right now. Well, I'm almost up to Halifax shipyard.
the place where they're making our warships, those frigates. I don't think they were, I don't know, they're designed for the north, for the for patrolling our Arctic. But I think the, one of our ships went over there, I don't know, to, to Ukraine, to, to that area. I don't know if it was one of these frigates, I think it was. One of these new frigates went, went there. I believe it did. We don't, we, we have volunteered one, but these are designed for the north, so that's what they're made for. Made especially for the cold Arctic weather, because they're going to be patrolling our northern coast whenever they're not needed in a war. Well, we are no longer on Barrington. The engine is down there, so we're gonna make our way up this way. And what street am I on, you ask? I don't know. I'll tell you at the corner. Don't that place look nice? I don't know if it's offices or a house. It might be offices. Could be. But it looks nice anyway. When I listen to sounds here in the city, I can hear the dull roar of traffic and I can hear sirens in several directions. <laughs> They're all over the place. You just stop and listen and you can hear sirens in many directions in the city. I think the last time I was up in this neighborhood, it was raining. And I was having a hard job not to get my feet wet. All right, I was supposed to look for a street sign here to tell you what street I'm on. But I don't see any. There's none on this corner either. We'll go one more light, and then I should see a street sign tell you what the name of this is. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't quite pull it out. Well, I'll know when I see it, I'll say, why didn't I notice that? Anyways. Yeah, so I see there's so many streets in Halifax, I can't remember them all. What do you think I am? <laughs> you give me more credit than I deserve. I can't possibly remember all these streets. So the main ones, yeah, for the most part, but I can't remember everyone. So I have to read the signs and then I can pass it on to you. What street I'm on, but unfortunately there's no signs on this corner. So I, oh, there's one over there, but due to my condition of my eyes, I wouldn't be able to read that sign from here. So, well luck on that one. Let's walk up the hill. Maybe at the next intersection, there's a street sign there and we'll find out. I know I'm pretty close to Young Street. Wow, there's a lot of sirens going. Hear them? They're getting handier. A lot of sirens, fire truck, probably animals, police cars, I don't know. I can't really tell which is which. Well, I gotta do a little uphill walking now. Keep the legs strong. I walked 12 kilometers yesterday. That should have helped. They're getting louder. They sound like they're coming up the street. Let's 
take a look. No, nothing down there, but they're handy. Oh, well, okay, I am. I said I thought I was in the area of Young Street, right there, Young and Vincent at the moment. So I am walking up Young Street, which is good. That's where I gotta go, Young and Roby. So uh, that's okay. I go and meet my wife up there. She got a half an hour or so for lunch break. She's not super busy on Tuesday. Tuesdays are easy day. I probably told you that before anyway. She got less deliveries on Tuesday. So a lot of, I haven't done this for a while. I used to come over here and meet up with her every Tuesday. But lately I've been busy with my videos and, and I haven't been up here for, it's been a long time. I bet it's been well over a month since I've been up here sharing her lunch break with her. It's been a while. No, I wasn't sharing her lunch. I don't, <laughs> she needs that. I eat when I get home. I'm just a little guy. I don't eat much anyway. It don't take much to keep me going. I had a bowl of cereal and an English muffin this morning. And I brought a sandwich with me in case I want to have that in the middle of the day. And that will be it until I get back home later today. And then I'm going to make supper, but it will be for everybody. And then we'll eat when my wife gets home. But that don't bother me. That's not hard for me to do at all because... I don't... I, don't, I haven't got a big... A big appetite, so I don't. That's why I'm small and skinny, I guess, because I don't have a big appetite. I just uh, I eat what I need to, and that's it. The only thing I have that might that uh, would would be fattening if I ate things to go with it, but is coffee, because I put two sugar in my coffee, double double coffees. So if I have three in a day. That's six sugar. But when you didn't eat any other food, that six sugar don't amount to much. So, yeah, but I got a sandwich with me today. I might have that later. So all my viewers, I, I told you I'm a small guy, you're probably going, how small is he? Well, I'm almost average height. I'm five foot six. I'm, I hover between 130 and 135. So that's not very heavy, but that's it, that's, it, that's as good as it gets. But if I had to choose between being too big or too small, I would take the too small because up to a point, I wouldn't want to be like three feet high. I'm glad that I didn't stop there. And I often wish that we were just a little bit bigger. But the good thing about being small, you're not intimidating. So if strangers meet you, they're not, they're not really intimidated by you, so you can have conversations with people and they feel quite safe. So that's, that's, a, good, that's a plus. So I don't want to make anybody nervous. I'm not that kind of person that... That I, that I would want to make anybody nervous. You know, so that's good. I'll, I'll make you feel at ease when you talk to me. There goes the double decker again. Making money today because there are two cruise ships in here and one's a big one. 
One was a small ship and one is huge. I consider going over there busking today. Make, cause I make pretty good money when I can take my guitar down on the waterfront there and play. But today I wanted to get my videos ahead because because of my eye surgery, I gotta have to take a couple of days off probably. So it's good if I don't interrupt my my algorithms for my for my uh, videos. I love this plot, this plot right here. It always it looks like I always thought it looked a little British. The, the sidewalk, the signs, the buildings. Has like a British feel to it. This is the heart of the Hydrostone district. Lots of little shops and restaurants and bistros and coffee places. Not big chains, they're more like family, family owned businesses that are down here. The sushi, there's a good uh, Japanese restaurant. If you, I myself, I'm not a sushi man, I can tell you that. That's not my thing. No, no, but, There's a Starbucks right there. One day I'm going to try that out. Haven't done that yet. Always walk right by it. I go to Starbucks on Spring Garden Road, but never went to that one. So one day I've got to come over here and just go to Starbucks so I can, can see what it's like in there. Then I can tell you folks when I walked by there how the experience was. If it was good, nice, liked it, friendly, or if it was no good. But I can't picture that. Most Starbucks are pretty well the same. They're, they're all good. I miss the one on Barrington Street. I used to go to that one quite a bit. Miss that. That closed down about the same time the one in Scotia Square closed. And, and I don't really miss the one in Scotia Square because I usually get Tim Hortons when I go to Scotia Square. So that one's okay. But I missed the one on Barrington. That was a that was a great little spot right there. And what I really like about Starbucks, the Wi-Fi is always really good. So if you go in there with a laptop or a, or a, a tablet, I don't use computers, but I got a tablet that I use sometimes, along with my phone. I sometimes I like to watch videos on my tablet because the screen's kind of small on the phone well that's one thing i like about, about starbucks and you can sit down as long as you want in there nobody bother you nobody will come and say oh you've been here an hour you need to move along now no no they don't do that you can stay there as long as you want stay there long enough you go get another coffee maybe a muffin Ah, this is a great day. Great day to be out walking around and talking to you folks. I know some people think I'm talking to myself, but I'm talking to you guys. I think I'll cut across the corner right here. When this light changes, there's Olin Brewery. Right on the corner, not too many big factory. Whoa, I hit my button. Uh-oh. Sorry about that. My thumb accidentally 
that's holding my gimbal. Hit the button and spun the camera around. Whoop, now it's on tracking. Ah, there we go. All is well again. Okay. I gotta wait for this one. All is well again. Hey, listen, anybody, anybody looking for a new job? There's a sign up there in front of Olin's. Said they're hiring. Probably pay good, too. Uh, I'm not looking for a job. I'm retired, but... Anybody looking for a job and watching this video, come and see them at Olin's. The sign right there, we're hiring. Go in and see them. They'll give you a job and you, you'll be all, you'll be set. Because you probably never lose your job in there. And once you're in the union, you're there. And you're making good money. If you're just a worker with, with no skills like if you could drive a forklift or something like if you get your forklift it doesn't take much to get that anybody can get a forklift license and go in there apply for a job and tell them you can drive a forklift you would be making good money you'd be all set you won't have to worry about a job a great job i would imagine once you get past your 90 days, you're probably uh, getting all the benefits. You join the union, get all the holidays, and you won't get let go because once you're in the union, that's it, you're in. So, go, go there, go there and apply for a job. I can only, couldn't stress that enough. A good union job is worth so much. When I was younger, I used to be anti-union. I didn't like unions because when I was young, everything I heard about unions, they were controlled by the mafia and all this stuff and all this crime families was the head of these unions. And I don't know if it's still like that or not, but, but that was why I was anti-union. But I think I've changed my opinion a little bit. Because unions will protect your job. I don't know about here in Halifax, but up in Ontario, you know what a lot of employers do? They hire you and they keep you for about somewhere between three and five years. They don't want you to hit the five year mark because then they got to give you an extra week vacation and you've been there quite a while and you might be a little harder to get rid of. They want to keep turning it over because they pay less. The, the new people are a lot less than the ones that's been there. So after you've had a few pay raises, you'll come in one day and uh, your job is no longer there. They don't even give you any warning. And they say, we're restructuring. That's the term up there, restructuring. That's the code for your fired. We're restructuring. And you come back in there a day later, and they got a whole brand new crew doing the same job you were doing. And that's how it works. Love those Amazon vans. Aren't they nice? Nice looking vehicles. So that's what they do in Ontario. Very common. You're never secure unless you've got a union. And you go to the Department of Labor, they can't help you. They can't help you at all. They just ask you if you got a union now. Well, there's no laws saying they can't get rid of you and hire somebody else. Do it whenever they want to do it. So I'm at my corner and this is where my wife's gonna come along and meet me shortly. So I'm at the end of this video. So I'm gonna stand, I don't know, right here, looking over at Young and Roby Corner. Okay, if you like this video, I'd be great if you push that like button because that gets me know that you like my videos and you like me walking around talking to you. And 
If you haven't become a subscriber yet, that would just make my day. If you just, just take your finger and inch it over there to that subscribe button and muster up the, the, the energy to give it a little push. And that would just tickle me to no end. But don't feel obligated. You don't have to do that. That's just if you want to. And with that, I hope you're having a wonderful day like I am. I, I'm always having a great day. And I hope you are too. And until next time, take care, be safe. We'll see you all on the next video. Bye for now.